Right now, let's turn to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca is in the Weather Center. Speaking of the wind, it's been rather breezy out here today, Tony. Yeah, we're seeing gusts 25, 30 miles per hour. Once again, that puts kind of a spoiler as far as the comfort. So in other words, we were 62 degrees this afternoon, but you throw in that breeze, it feels a little cooler. Clouds on the increase, even some showers off to our west. But tell you what, I wouldn't even take the umbrella this evening. A lot of this is actually fizzling out. I mean, maybe a sprinkle, if that. But we take a look outside under little cloudy skies. New Bedford once again, dry, breezy, and we've cooled off a little bit now. And now that the cloud cover has taken over, temperatures are back into the mid 50s. Talk about cold. Late last night, early this morning, freezing, westerly, below freezing New Bedford, 28. Felt like February in Taunton. The vineyard down to 26. Here in Providence, down to 35 degrees. And look at the recovery during the afternoon, warming up into the lower 60s inland and mid 50s along the coastline. Uh, tomorrow is a much warmer day. We're forecasting actually mid to upper 60s and a lot of sunshine. Friday is a bonus day. Threat tracker now through Friday and the weekend. It's low level green. We just don't see any storms, at least on the short term horizon where we're rather dry and uh, things look pretty good. You can see some of the cloud cover that's increasing right now and out across the Connecticut River Valley and through the Hudson Valley of New York. You see a line of showers. A lot of this is actually fizzling out. This is along a cold front. So the cold front advancing to the east. One reason why we're getting the increase in the cloud cover, but this is actually uh, moving into drier air. So outside of maybe a sprinkle this evening, that's about it. Now, once the front sweeps offshore overnight, look what's behind it. High pressure, clear, dry air. This means all day sunshine and warmer temperatures coming up for Friday afternoon. Watch this area of green just kind of fizzle out and shrink and it's pretty much gone. Clearing overnight and then here we are tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. waking up to sunshine, not nearly as cold. In fact, temperatures will start off in the 40s and it's all day sun looking pretty good. This is tomorrow afternoon and here we are later in the day at 6 o'clock with sunshine. You're Heading out in your Friday evening, Friday night, the weather looks fine. So we'll break it down hour by hour. This morning it was 30. Tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., 50. 20 degrees warmer. Look at all the sunshine. 11 o'clock in the morning, it's already up to 64. And then during the afternoon, I was looking at mid and upper 60s on a northwest breeze. So that means the beaches don't have a sea breeze. You want to take a walk along the beach tomorrow? It'll be mild along the coastline as well. It is another breezy day, but the temperatures will be warmer. So overall, it kind of evens out. It's a comfortable day. The bay forecast has the wind west northwest 10 to 15 knots, but at times some gusts to 25 knots. Unlimited visibility. Water temperatures now in the upper 40s. Seven day forecast spectacular for Friday at 67. Saturday's not bad. A better part of the day is sunny by this time Saturday evening. Some extra clouds. It's a little cooler on Sunday and tending towards extra clouds, but a dry day if you're going to be outdoors on Sunday. The weather is fine. It may not be as bright as Saturday, but overall it's looking pretty good. In fact, next chance for precipitation not until Monday night and Tuesday with some showers and temperatures on Tuesday in the upper 50s. WPRI.com is always to get your updated seven day forecast.